highs struggle to get above 50 degrees as the region prepares for its first substantial snowfall. Where where you live? Dude, it was yeah, like 72 weeks ago. Is this real? This can't be real. I'm still swimming in my pool. Holy crap. Dude, it's it's actually going to like no shot. This can't happen. It's happening. Sounds like like you don't no, have no, a no, 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 like it can't. I have a hose. The so hose? so we redid our entire backyard. We put up the fence. Mm-hmm. We put down the artificial turf and the rocks and all this shit for our backyard. And I have a hose that has, you know, how you can like they they sell these things. It's like a bottle and then a nozzle, and you sh- and it like mixes water with the stuff or yeah. whatever. Yeah, like and in that bro. bottle Makes is those. like anti-smelly shit, so that uh-huh. when the dogs pee and poop, we just like spray it over it. Yeah. No stinkerino. Winter can't come this year because I don't know what the solution is during the winter when it would be frozen. <laughs> like, I mean, what you have to do is just disconnect the hose from the wall no. and bring it in. No, I can't. Why not? No, like not like a garden. No, it, it can't. It can't get below 32 this year. We have to figure out a wet global warming or something because mm-hmm. I need to be able to spray that shit mm-hmm. because it's so stinky. I don't know. What dog pee is so smelly. It's so yeah. bad. Yeah. And it because yeah. it's in a contained fenced off, super fenced off area. It, the yeah. air doesn't move. <laughs> so right. it's just like it's just down there baking. Awful. If you if it had it like it'd be yellow if it had a color. Yeah. Yeah, you just, just so what do the I do? The wall and bring it in. No, I can't. No, well, how do I spray then? Well, you bring it out whenever you spray, and then you disconnect it and bring it back. But uh, the hose, it's the nozzle on the side of the wall, has to be covered by a thing. Yeah, you, you cover it and you uncover it. No way. Hose. Every time they pee, yo, Every these you dogs, spray, you're gonna have these to spray dogs less drink often. so much. They're the most <laughs> hydrated dogs I've ever seen, ever. Um, in my you're life, you're just gonna have to spray like once a day. Mm. Maybe you do extra spray when you do it once a day. Ugh. Fuck. Maybe you I can attach probably, the hose honestly, to a sink. What you could do is get one of those um, spray things. You <laughs> <laughs> stick it underneath. <laughs> yeah. The- <laughs> yeah, just. But no, you could get one of the uh, the uh, the the pressure things, like the yeah. the, the drum. Oh, like and then the pre mix. Uh, where you. You know, like where you would spray around your fence line yeah. like with like whatever, kill the weeds, that sort of thing. That sort of thing. Mix the water in it. Mix the solution pre-mix. that you use. Yeah. And then, and then you, <laughs> you know, you pump it up and then go around and spray. Oh, but dude, I go through like gallons of water. I make sure <laughs> that it is <laughs> well Where's the wet. runoff going? I don't know. <laughs> Wherever that's at, like into the ground now. <laughs> it's into the ground as far as I know. I mean, the trees and bushes back there are doing mighty well. There's yeah, a lot of water back there for that. Ke- is the chemical that you, the odor remover is it? It is na- safe. safe for nature. It is safe. It's unfortunately safe because now there's weeds. So now mm. it's like it's it's supporting the weed growth. Yeah, and that's annoying. You have to get another mix for the weeds. Yeah. And that's not pet friendly. That, it's only on the side because I put down the weed guard in the actual stuff. So the weeds are just like coming. Ar- they're coming around. I don't know. They're just like coming through it. Yeah. yeah it's welcome to the mm. podcast, everybody. Well, you're just going to get cold there. Enjoy your it, snow. They I thought can't my pool snow. was done for the season. Yeah, like so I, did thought, I. I thought you were done. I, yeah, no, I did too. It got cold and the pool got cold. And then it's been warm all last week. And I, and I was checking the because I haven't drained it yet. Um, yeah. Close it. Because just as I tell I needed help with the tarp. And so I, when she got back, I went over. To, I've been checking the chemical levels and stuff still to make sure, you know, it doesn't get filled with algae or anything. And I looked at the temperature and it's like 69. And I was like, oh, shit. Time That's to like jump one, in. One degree <laughs> off from like, you know, too cold. Um, so I was like, fire the fucking heater back up. Did you really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're so stupid. <laughs> Uh, it's in the 70s now again just end it dude i I mean i i probably will honestly i was kind of ghetto i bought uh bags of charcoal to do it with i was like i'm kind of out of that's hilarious but those should last forever it it does it's kind of weird because it 
I put like 10 bags of charcoal in it the night before. Um, so 160 pounds of charcoal uh, total because uh, they're 16 pound bags each. What? And uh, it rained at some point, And so it put them out. And that really sucks because it was like half done, half not. So I had to like scoop them oh, out and like ew. sift them and shit to get like yeah. the dust off. Um, but uh, yeah, they were still going even after the rain. Um, so that's the thing. Charcoal is way different than the wood fires I've been having in there because it just sits there and fucking smolders. It's, just, and it's, it's so hot. hot for hours and hours. Um, it's a lot easier to keep it hot. Like the pool warmed much faster using charcoal than it did when I did the wood fires. Um, so yeah. It definitely works. How do they make charcoal? Uh, it's just uh, wood that's compressed by fire. I mean, the charcoal briquettes are different, but whenever you so make, so they burn uh, wood to make. Yeah, yeah, like you know <laughs> what? Um, like back how does in the it day, burn? How does it reburn? You don't. It doesn't burn all the way. <laughs> basically, like you, uh, you make like a. If you were doing it in the wild, you make like yeah. a clay dome, uh, and then you fill it with wood, and you okay. pack all this clay around it. And then you fill it all the way up with wood and you close it up and you start the fire in there and it smolders very slowly inside of this clay fucking dome. Um, and it doesn't burn all the way because it can't get enough oxygen to burn all the way. And you let that go for like a day and then you take it out and what's left is charcoal. But how, so you've half burned it. Yeah. But then basically. it That's does why it's like better, ready to go. but then it yeah. does better than wood. Right. But right. you've already used half of it. So half the wood is gone, but now the other half is like better than I feel like there's some kind of the half. Some kind of compression or something that takes place. Yeah, as this well. doesn't I'm know. confused. This does not but. follow physics. The conservation <laughs> of energy is not followed here. I mean, it, it makes sense somehow. Um, yeah, I'm sure it does. Um Okay, so it, you took 160 pounds of Jesus. That all fit in there? Yeah, yeah, it's a big fire pit. Um, Apparently, yeah, I, just, I started with like five Lord. bags in there, and I put some wood in there with it too, because I had some wood, but not uh, mm -hmm. a lot of wood. And um, it's just slowly added bags through the night. So like, mm -hmm. it wasn't, it didn't start with ten bags, but over like a two-hour period, it burned ten bags. Um, right, when are you gonna so, drain it? Uh, I don't know. I go to DC this weekend. It's Jeff's birthday. Um, Thanks for the invite. <laughs> yeah like you were gonna just fly yeah i got a. it's funny i got a text and i don't have julia's number in my phone so i just got a, a text of like a group of 20 people and i uh, expected them to ask for like sex or something um and mm -hmm. uh it yeah. was like mm -hmm. hey you're one of 20s jeff's closest friends and i was like this sounds like fucking fake as hell um it's like uh come to dc on the, the this weekend and, and we're you're going like well to this i do know a jeff in dc yeah and huh. it's like come to we're doing a beer festival and you need to buy tickets here's the link and they're 60 dollars and i was like this is a scam. This is a fucking scam right here. It, it, it's, it's a scam even if it is Jeff. <laughs> and his birthday. Yeah. $60. So, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't Jeez. ask Jeff either. I could be like, hey, Jeff, it's supposed to be a surprise, right? So I could be like, hey, Jeff, uh, what's the deal? Is this real? And so the next time we record together, I was like, oh, yeah, I saw in Discord it's your birthday. Are you doing anything? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> was it actually and, in Discord? Uh, no. Lol. He, doesn't the court, so he has no way of knowing. Um, uh, well, so yeah. shit. So this, the people watching this live right now need to shut the fuck up. Yeah, I've talked about okay. it on my stream too. Jeff doesn't watch anything, and okay. I don't think there's anyone that's going to go and spoil it. That'd be rude. Yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, well, that's fine. Did, did you at? did you pay sixty dollars? No. So, uh, yeah, so I, I texted that. her back and I was like, well, let me check with Jess and see if we can come and everything. Once I verified it with Jeff, that it was actually real. And uh, she's like, okay, well, if you can come, let me know and I'll buy your tickets for you. Um, so she bought them. So, so it was $120. Right. Uh, it was funny because it, earlier that week, geez, I had been talking to Jess about, well, I don't know because it's beer. Uh, I don't, I, yeah, I, out. I can't eat beer and you can't either. Yeah. Yeah, beer's bad for gout, so I already have gout. Yeah. I'm hoping it's going by Friday. It'll just be like, or Saturday. It'll be like be on, yeah. this outdoor thing. Yeah, they might have a little one of those electric. <laughs> you know, you can, <laughs> yeah, God, you just get, get one on. of those again. Honestly, I, I, I need to invest in, you've seen those little scooter things where you put your knee on it? Like people that have like yeah. a fu one yeah. fucked up leg yeah. and you have your knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any one of those. Every it's not even gout. an investment, dude. Those are on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, well, so I need to get one. 
That yeah. would be it. Would be you used once or twice a year whenever I just suddenly just can't fucking walk. Yeah, it's, it's bullshit. Waking up in the morning, just being like, you know what, not walking today, bud. Today's a not walk kind of day. Yeah, yeah, it's rough. That does but literally. Suck I I had set my alarm for eleven fifty, and it took me twenty minutes to get here. What does eleven fifty have to do with anything? Oh, Eastern near. time. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wow. Damn. Yeah, it took me like 20 minutes to get from one end of the house to in here. Just sleeping Basically. it off. The, uh, the, do you have crutches? I do have crutches and I have a cane too. Um, but well, you've got everything so except for a roly poly. Dude, those things actually look sick. You, like, like going somewhere like the beer like, thing or Disney respect. or anywhere? Yeah. Respect. The, it's, it's like, it's like, I don't know what it is, but it's like, it's kind of cool in a way. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I, I still got my right leg, dude. What's <laughs> <Yeah>. up? <laughs> Honestly, it's way better than crutches. We needed those when we were kids. Do you yeah, ever, crutches you ever feel crutches? Suck. Dude, crutches are awful. I'd rather have the arm. bicycle for your knee. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's way better than the fucking crutches. I've had crutches recently. Like, oh, crutches yeah, are awful. Right. And they fucking yeah. hurt your armpit. Yeah, or that's the, maybe that's I just don't part. have a muscular enough armpit. No, I'm the same way. I mean, maybe I don't either, but yeah. It, it's painful. We need to. We need to start I do remember body in school, building. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's my next goal. Yeah. Join Justin in the fucking deadlift gym. Um, I mean, Dude, I he's school, nuts. He can, like pick yeah, up a is. bus. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That's what he does. And does just like they will in buses for Justin to pick up. Jeez. Until he hurt his back. He had picked up too many buses. Too many buses. Uh, yeah, I remember threatening kids at school when I was on crutches one time. I was like, "Fuck with me, I got a bat." <laughs> <laughs> oh that's great what happened why were we on crutches i don't remember i think i sprained because i never broke uh any legs i've only broke my wrist it's only thing i've ever broke so i don't know why i was on crutches but i was definitely on crutches and there was someone bullying me and i was like i have a weapon <laughs> that's fun yeah i was on crutches uh, at boy scout camp that sucked oh that's awful how long were you in boy scouts yeah dude till the end you went like in high school, you're still in Boy Scouts? I went from whatever the original Cub Scout rank is. I don't even know. Earth, mm-hmm. fire, wind, water, heart. For all I know, it's that. Like it's, oh, yeah. it's whatever the <laughs> whatever the OG is. Yeah. All the way through Eagle. All the way through uh, Order. Have you ever heard of Order of the Arrow? Huh. That's some fucking That's another thing. archery shit. It's like, a, it's like the, Are you the Green Arrow. No, from my understanding, it's like the elite people. <laughs> it's like elite Boy Scouts. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. It's like, hey, you want to pay us more money? Join this organization. It's like, the, it's like you know how, um, um, what's that? Rel- Scientology has Sea yes. Org. It's yeah. like the Sea Org for <laughs> Boy Scouts, which is basically as far as I can tell Scientology. Um, yeah. 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 Awesome. I was all day. All day. What right is, do you feel like you got anything selling from popcorn? Yeah, they they need something better um, than popcorn. <clears throat> so I think our troop was especially good at not touching kids. <laughs> um, especially good at being normal and kind of accepting everybody. Unlike Apparently, <laughs> the Boy Scout organization as a whole. <laughs> so I think I actually got like plenty of outdoors skills. Like I certainly would not be backpacking and camping and all that shit without it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, or hiking I, I or any of that. The Boy Scouts. And I guess it was too much trouble for my mom to actually take me because mm-hmm. I went to like the mm-hmm. orientation meeting. And I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking in. And then never went back. <laughs> yeah. So. That was my I think I learned lots of leadership skills too, like just dealing with people because you have yeah. to like deal with people. Right. And shit. So, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't it was a pretty I think it was a decent experience. I think it was also, however, like very insular to my troop because I don't think yeah, I had I think the same the experience really that most have. Right. Yeah, I I think that with my daughter and Girl Scouts. I think Crystal had a good experience with Girl Scouts. Because when I met her in high school, she was still a Girl Scout. She's like you, fucking the 
legal eagle or whatever the fuck. Um, the fuck? I don't, I don't, I don't know. know of brownies. That's literally all I know. I assume they're all desserts. So you start uh, at brownies, you go up to cake. No, no maybe like so pies. Uh, I think once you're in high school, you're you're a cadet. I think is what they're called there. But uh, no, uh, it's uh, daisies, brownies, juniors, cadets. Maybe I don't know. I'm not okay. certain if I got all of them in there. I may have missed some. But yeah, I think brownies the only one that's a uh, a dessert. I don't know why they should be like snickerdoodles. That's all and- I ever knew. <laughs> I mean, all I only know because my daughter's in it, but my daughter has an awful troop, just a truly oh, awful, yeah. terrible, not a, any kind of influence that you would want on a child troop. And so I hate it completely. Um, we went two Tuesdays ago I, and I took her um, and uh, literally no one in this building was wearing a mask except for my daughter, only person mm-hmm. there. But I guess they've made it optional now, which means not at all. Um, so I basically told Crystal and I'm like, I'm how are you guys back. going backwards when we are, we are like in a week, it is giga tier time. Well, like, no, we're, we're, you're going backwards. We're going no forwards to fucking hell. I, mean, <laughs> I guess it depends on which you know direction. Like backwards you. to like mass and fucking lockdown. Yeah, we're going, we're going more towards that. Yeah, yeah so I, I think that's kind of backwards. Not, I was thinking backwards, backwards in, in terms like, of controlling the virus. Yeah, no, yeah, no, you're right. It it just depends on how you look at it. Yeah. But either way, we're going the wrong fucking direction. <laughs> you're going the opposite direction. Yeah. We have an 80 no, something percent board. vaccine rate, and we're still like, yeah, you know what? Fuck that. If it's not 100 percent, we're done. And so, yeah. vaccines required starting next week. It's kind of crazy. Our county has the lowest vaccine rate in North Carolina. Um, we have Super. also one of the highest uh, infection rates. Uh, the, mm-hmm. the school board meeting was on Monday, the fourth, and so I was listening to that. And it's like a three-hour long thing, um, and you know they the live one the it? previous month. Yeah, they live stream it. Um, the, they don't show themselves; it's just an audio only live stream on Facebook. Lol. Yeah, it is. That was uh, down Monday. Yeah, I was watching it on the news station, the mm. WRAL. Uh, but I don't always. I that's where I normally watch it. I don't watch it on Facebook, but. Um, yeah, it's uh, – so the previous month they voted for optional, and it was supposed to go into effect October 5th, so they held another vote on the 4th, and it's remained optional. Um, but it was real special because they had a doctor there that night, and she was explaining to these people how masks work, and he was like, that's not what I heard. He's like, I don't understand how my <laughs> mask helps you. I'm the one wearing it. And she's like, well, yes, you're containing your water droplets inside of your mask. And he goes – that's also not what I've heard. I heard that it's no longer water droplets. It's water vapor. And wave vapor goes outside of the mask. And she's like, no, that's not it at all. <laughs> and then he's like, well, how many COVID patients have you even treated? And she's like, I'm not sure exactly. And he's like, see? And she's like, well, it's over 100. And he's like, mm-hmm. Uh, so <laughs> I love these people. Holy shit. It's, it's he sounds awful. incredible. Yeah, he is the dumbest, and here's the best part. <laughs> after they held the vote at the end, because they do all this discussion, and then yeah. they always take a recess after fucking three hours of discussion, come back, and then vote on everything they've discussed. Um, so it's not just like mass. Oh, that's weird. That's an interesting budget. way of doing it. Huh. I think that they go and they discuss it on their break. They take a yeah. ten-minute break right before that they seems, hold votes. And I think like yeah. they go in a back room and yell at each other. Yeah. Uh, well, yell at this one woman, because there's one woman that's like against the other four, and she just it's all, all the votes like four to one. Um, she votes on some of the budget stuff like with them, but for the most part, there's this one woman that's like, hey, y'all, we should wear masks. And they're like, fuck you. Um, <laughs> they just berate her in the back for 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, after they held the vote, he goes, now, nah, I've seen a lot of these comments to y'all that are listening live on Facebook. And if you out there calling me an idiot on Facebook, you need to stop that. So he's, awesome. uh, he's real upset. I would, about I would the just Facebook keep comments. typing. Oh, yeah. No, if I used Facebook, I would be just this oh, man. I, I don't know. I don't, I, he looks like is the, he a part the, of the school board? Like he is a school board member. Is yeah, he, is a, he is a member of the school board. Yeah, I desperately want to run in his in his position. You should. I was going to say, why don't you run for school board? Well, he's not in my district. Uh, he's in my school district, but he's not. It's broken. He up. doesn't it's represent like, your area. Yeah, because um, I looked to see, can I replace this man? Um, he looks like Bob the Bounty Hunter. Was it Bob? Dog. Dog, Dog. the Bounty Hunter. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. He, uh, he's got Love like black, that. greasy hair. It's like mm-hmm. like a mullet. And oh, it's yeah. greasy. Yeah. He puts some kind of con- something in it to make it look like fucking has got motor oil in it. 
He looks mm-hmm. exactly like you would imagine this man. Um, yeah. I met him years ago at like a luncheon thing at the school and uh, didn't know. Dog? You met no Dog one. the Bounty Hunter? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've been um, by his house in Hawaii. Really? When I lived there. Oh, you're in Hawaii? That's a long way to go to Bounty Hunt. Yeah, that's, that's, no, that's where everybody, that's where it took place. Like, that's who he was oh, getting. Oh, he just hunted on the he island? He hunted mostly in the islands. After, you know, seasons into it, he, like, would go to Colorado or some shit. Then he crossed the Mexican border, broke the law, and got arrested. And then, I, there's a lot of, <laughs> who knows. Really? Anyway, he was mostly a bounty hunter in Hawaii. And when you go by his house, he's got a, like, a gated, like, a fenced gated driveway. And it's just a big picture of his face <laughs> right on the front of it. It's just that's a fantastic. massive picture of his head. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's I mean, great. that sounds about right, though. That's exactly what I would expect. Uh, awesome. Uh-huh. So fun. <laughs> so great. fun. Yeah. So uh, does is the one somewhat reasonable woman the one who represents your area? Yes. Fuck, that sucks. You should move. It does. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I should pull a fucking Laura Bobbitt or whatever her name is. Yeah, you should districts. move, and that way it can be two to three. Yeah, yeah, and then but it still doesn't help, right? Yeah, would you um, ever run for local government? That seems like a you thing. Yeah, I've looked into it. Like, well, mainly the school board situation. Like, yeah, you know that's the plan. If you if you read <laughs> the Patriots dot Win website, um, uh, or the Great why Awakening. do you do this to yourself? <laughs> Well, no, that's Fuck. their plan, though. They talk about it constantly. They're like, we need to start at the local level. We need to take over school well, boards. That, that's that's the Republican that's, plan. That's not even just Patriot. That's how Republicans have – that's been their, like, 30-year plan is okay. lo- control lo- local government, and then it will feed to controlling the federal government, whereas yeah, Democrats I mean, tend to be the opposite. Like, now if we control the top, we'll control the rest. Yeah. And that's just not I mean, reality. I wish – because we have a, a Democrat governor for North, North Carolina – um, and he's made all these guidelines. Thank for you, Charlotte. Schools. Yeah, Charlotte and Raleigh. Um, and maybe a little bit of Winston-Salem. But uh, I wish he would just mandate masks. Like he's got – the way they've set up all the, 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 the requirements, like by them, by them making masks optional at, at my daughter's school, if anyone in her classroom tests positive, they all go home. Whereas mm-hmm. when masks were mand- mandated, only that kid goes home basically. Yeah. Um, why so, what what's his reason is it just because there's so many people that disagree with him that he's like uh, i guess I not i don't know why he's not mandated honestly because like he he's got, got no balls i mean I, I don't i don't get it i don't know i've written him a letter but you know <laughs> you wrote probably, him a letter of course like what else can i do right like make just talk about on the podcast <laughs> we get like five listeners surely one of them is in north carolina hopefully um yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. It's a mess. It's mm-hmm. gross. I think it's only a matter of time. The thing is, so uh, the fifth Tuesday, it went into effect at her school, optional. And um, she said in her classroom, all the girls are wearing them. None of the boys are wearing them. And none of the teachers in the school are wearing them. Um, is she wearing so I was them? at least kind of hoping. Yeah, she is. Uh, but I was kind of hoping rebel. that the teachers would still. But I mean, all the other girls in her class are too. But I think that that's only going to diminish, right? Like it's not going to go the other direction where more people are going to start yeah. putting their masks on. It's going to go. I mean, you never know. Day. I mean, as winter comes and cases spike again, which is why they're doing it here because they just know it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, like he might, he might change his mind. We'll see. I, I think – I don't know. It's a weird situation. I mean, cause I don't want people to get sick, but I think that's what's going to happen. And I'm just kind of waiting for it. Like, okay, you fucking idiots. Now you've opened Pandora's box. So you're going to have to Let's deal go. with the consequences for it. Let's go. Just annoying. And maybe that guy on the school board gets COVID and dies. Duh, I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> cause that is mean. <laughs> I have um, no sympathy for these idiots. I'll call them an idiot did, on Facebook. Did you get your flu shot? Really? I didn't last year because we weren't leaving the house, but I did this year. I normally do it September 14th. That's my day to do it every year. Why? Well, I, I don't know why that. that It started, I think, I think I think the like year my daughter was born, that's when we got it. Um, and so I've just kind of been like, well, once a year, I'll keep the same date every year. Mm-hmm. And so I don't know. I've always Weird. just done September 14th. I've done early October because it only lasts six months, right? Yeah. Well, they recommend October, middle of September. November, December. 
January, February, or March. I feel like people get the flu in April. Huh. I've Still. never got the flu, so I don't know. Me neither, but I don't plan on starting. My question well, is, I am... Oh, by the way, patreon.com slash minecraft. Boom! You throw in an <laughs> ad right there, and they didn't even <laughs> see it coming. Can't skip that one, bitch! <laughs> Woo! Take that. If you're subscribed on the $25 tier, then you get to be live. Right now, Lab Tech, Super Marnie's talking. Super M- Marnie? Men Tyson? His name's Manry. It's like, it's like, it's like, no, Marnie. Minty son. Marnie? Uh, Men Tyson? You're running the, all the few $25 tiers away. You're scaring them off. What, why am I? Patreon.com slash Minecraft support <laughs> the uh, stream. All the money goes towards things like the marathon, which is happening in a month. Back to our normally scheduled yeah, program. Almost exactly a month. A month um, from tomorrow. <clears throat> When's that pod going to get here, you think? How long did they say? Back up. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get the COVID booster at the same time I get the flu shot? Go. The, everything I've read says there's no reason you can't. At the same time? It, yep. Don't the next day, don't you just die? I'm pretty sure if you do that, the next day you might as well not exist. The flu shot doesn't give me any kind of side effects. Does it give you side effects? The, the mix of the two? Which arm's going to hurt worse? It's going to be Why like... Why are you getting the COVID Whoa! booster? <laughs> Why not? Well, ah, the reason why the uh, FDA didn't approve it for um, our age group was Don't. possible health concerns. Yeah, we're not young. But we're not approved. I, I'm in a high, uh, high extreme uh, risk scenario. Like, I guess I'm approved because I'm obese. That's one of the things on the list. Oh, yeah. If well, if I eat if a few more. 65 and. Yeah, you should. You should get it. Are you going to get it? No. You should. With where you live, you fucking should. Holy shit. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I uh, I just avoid everyone again. I'm back to like. not. I'm not quite back to where we started, but uh, I am more. Back. <laughs> Because like after I got both vaccines, I was out there without a mask on, going to restaurants, just living my life. Yeah, let's go. But and now then, the effectivity is going down. Uh, and don't you want yeah, a nice little, little kick in the old canoodle? I feel like I can wait. All right. Well, like I'm I'll not. Get a booster. So I am right going. Now. My plan is to get a flu shot probably tomorrow. Yeah. Wait like a couple days, a, f- a week maybe. Get the COVID vaccine. So that one of these little bitches coming to the marathon doesn't fuck me. Yeah, hopefully that goes well. Uh, it's my biggest concern is COVID. Um, so who's br- are we testing daily? Not daily. We're going to test when they get there. Daily would be expensive. Wait, are we testing people? Yeah. yeah We're buying you, kits? Yeah. Um, so the plan is, uh, when I talked to Drew and Armo about this, um, everyone keep your masks on until you've been tested and then you're allowed in the house and you may not take off your mask. But like when you get picked up from the airport, the ride there, all that, keep your masks on. Um, we'll get you there. We'll test you. And then you may now remove your mask. And if you test positive, we have a place for you to go permanently. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That sounds pretty good. Uh, so hopefully uh, no one seems pretty positive. easy. Um, people that are traveling internationally are going to have to test beforehand. It doesn't look like the Europeans are going to get to come because we've not given any kind of fucking date. So I can't. No, we have. Travel. No. America's letting them in. No. Like literally as of like a week or two ago, wasn't it? Yeah, they said. Sometime. Or was it the Brits? Maybe it's only the Brits. No, no the American uh, Travel Administration announced that sometime soon you'll be able to come. Mm-hmm. That's all I've gotten. I mean, they can come. They won't be allowed in. Who's going to stop them? TSA. Nope. Yeah. It's TSA the doesn't do shit. Well, um, whoever the fuck, Border Control, somebody. But oh, my foot hurts. Do you think Border Control cares? Yes. They, there's right. laws. Yeah. No, they're not going to let them in. So um, until we get a date, we can't book them travel. Um, got it. The well, date that we've been given is early November, which 
all the speculation is November 15th, which will be after the marathon. Um, Can I ask you a question? Are you booking people in shit tier economy or regular? Regular. Mm -hmm. Not basic. Okay. Well then you can, then I will, then I will let us pay for it <laughs> or else I was going to pay for it. Um, cool. I am not flying in, so that'll be fun. I'm driving. Well, yeah, you're going to drive, right? You're not driving from Seattle, but you're driving from not the from, same distance I'm driving. From Virginia. Hours, yeah. 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 We'll see how that goes. There's a big old box on the way, which I, again, I can get rerouted. <laughs> really want it to. Um, what? Where would you get it rerouted to? The place. To Kentucky? I think you're going to be a little upset when you <laughs> get in the box. I'm... I've been prepared to be upset with you since this started, to be honest. So, I, oh, no, honestly, I think it's gonna, no, it's gonna, it's like, it's like fucking Christmas. Literally, in this box is an entire studio. But that's also why you're gonna be pissed because it's literally an entire studio. It's a lot of work. Like, it's a lot of shit. Well, hopefully I don't have gout when it arrives. So, so and part of it, you're definitely going to need help. Why? All of the technical equipment, which is what? twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 worth of shit is all on one audio rack cart. And it's like probably a hundred pounds, 120 pounds. Okay. I can move that. So, all right. Um, what size vehicle do you think I need to bring Big. everything? You need to do a U-Haul. A U-Haul. Okay. But like it's, it's a lot. Okay. We'll go over this later, but at, like, yeah. I looked at like transit vans. Oh, fuck. Ah. Dude. Whoa. Are you dying? Is your rabbit killing you? No. Gout. What does gout feel like? The most painful fucking thing. Like I just literally saw black. Um, <laughs> like I feel like I was going to okay. pass out. <laughs> I don't know. But like. Where does it hurt? Let's put it that way. It's always different. So it's crystals. Crystals, the bane of my existence, honestly. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. That's funny. There's these crystals that fucking pick a joint and they grow. And the pain is because they're pushing through your fucking muscle and flesh as they grow. Um, these little sharp fucking crystals. Made of what? Uh, uric acid. So uric acid, like you, you take in purines whenever you, you eat any kind that? of food. You're supposed to. A normal person that's not fucked up um, just pisses it out. Mm -hmm. But my body holds on to it until the point where it is, I'm overflowing with it and then it crystallizes it. So how do you get it out get of you? It, it breaks up a, through a lot of pain and then I, then I do piss it out. There um, has to be a solution to this. There is medicine that uh, over time destroys your kidneys. Um, so I've Sounds decided good. not to take it oh. <laughs> um, because I don't want to have kidney failure eventually in like 20, 30 years. Um, so I try to just avoid, and I don't always do a good job of it. But I try to avoid the things that are high in purines. Um, but no matter what you do, there's still going to be some in food and drink and everything you consume. And so a little bit will eventually build up. So, all I can really do is lengthen the time in between outbreaks. Um, Damn, that sucks can, so hard. It does. It always so it's seems like it's your, worst times too. it's your joints. It's your joints. Okay. Um, so like your ankle? Big toe. Yeah, it's in my ankle on my left foot right now. And so putting any pressure on that foot is really bad. Yeah, you're you sit fucked. at a desk trying to find a comfortable position. Because putting where any pressure where your on your foot hurts, is not touching the ground. Basically. You need yeah, like a knee the, rest that goes under your knee and just let your leg dangle. What I would like is would like that be hammock. better? If I had like a a foot hammock under my desk where I could just put it in, you know what put I'm saying? Put like your like calf a, in like a sling kind of situation. Yeah, exactly, that's what I need. Get it? Um, yeah, it sucks to sleep, like because you can't find a good way to position your foot as well. Um, mm -hmm. So you need to be in traction. No I need to be in hospice. <laughs> no, you don't need to be in hospice. <laughs> <laughs> You jump uh, from traction, which is just uh, to hospice, which is like you're dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here to smile while you die. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
get the morphine. I'm ready. Holy uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you probably Jess could use this, a morphine uh, drip. What's that? You probably could use a morphine drip, honestly. I could. I this would little sleep. button. You just, Have you done yep. those before? No, I've never been in a hospital overnight. Really? Oh, damn. Yeah. Lucky you. I mean, this part sucks. But yeah. When I was a kid, I used to fucking want to be like I would. I had family members and stuff that were in the hospital. And I was like, this That's is so, so cool. fucking cool. They serve you food. Yeah. yeah what? Worst food in the world. But I'm like, oh, oh, dude, I want that experience of having the worst food in the world. Yeah. I can't leave this bed. Give it to me. Yo, my um, experience yeah. with hospital food is is like I can't believe it's a hospital. Like you would think hospital food would be healthy, you know, yeah. good food that's good for you. Dude, the menu is like spaghetti carbonara. That's like the garbage version of everything. Yeah. Like, yeah. want some macaroni and cheese? How about some meatloaf? It's like, <laughs> is this real? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Shouldn't it be like green beans and like chicken <laughs> like, shouldn't it be the Honestly, nice my stuff? grandma's been in the hospital here that's it chicken is like top tier you're getting that every day almost really uh, damn yeah. i guess our my experience was different maybe they served me a different menu because i wasn't in there for like anything related to food yeah yeah like she's she's always got like cholesterol and sodium issues mm. or whatever and so they're like you get no fucking salt no seasoning on any of this damn eat it dry ass chicken yeah, no, mine, like that vegetable medley. You know, I clearly about, like, remember having mac and cheese and like shit like that when when I had my back surgery, which is hilarious mm. because that is the moment that I became gluten free or I oh, had yeah, my yeah. reaction and like, well, shove some mac and cheese in my mouth. <laughs> like, sure. Did that fuck you up while you were in the hospital? No, because it like, well, I mean, I was so fu- I was so high, like I was so high. <laughs> I, <laughs> I had so many drugs going into me. That um, there's no chance I would have felt anything. <laughs> um, I remember um, the only thing I remember is I couldn't consume food for like the first 12 to 24 hours simply because I wasn't allowed to get up and poop. So yeah. because I had to stay, I had to stay completely stationary or else I would die. So like, that's it. The only thing I could do is there would be three nurses that would come and roll me to my side so that I could pee in this little thing. In this like uh, Tupperware, they had that like a little Tupperware container, and I would just pee in it. Yeah, yeah. on my side. Um, <clears throat> I'm like, are you enjoying you know, the show? For women now, they have this thing called like a wet wick. I think is what it's called, and it's like a little banana that has a vacuum and like a brush in it, and you just put it down on your pussy and pee into it, <laughs> and it sucks the fucking pee. I almost threw right out. Um, um, <laughs> wait, so why does it have a brush? brush? I guess they'll like disperse the liquid enough to like it can get it up in there. It's like so, furry kind of. It's not really like a brush. It's like oh. a fluffy end. Oh, it's like basically. a vacuum. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a vacuum it doesn't want to suck out your pussy. That's why. So it's a yeah, vacuum that like it allows air in. <laughs> from yeah, the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you exactly. just pee and it just like, why don't they have that for dudes? That seems like a That's simple thing. That's what I'm thing. saying. It seems like it'd be even simpler for dudes, like a little fucking yeah. tube. Like a- Why'd you have to turn me to my side? Why don't you just stick it on my dick? Yeah, yeah. Start like, we sucking. We don't need catheters, but like, give me just a like. Start sucking. Yeah. A machine that sucks my dick in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't understand why men don't have the same thing. Why? How have they perfected this technology for women? I mean, maybe men? that's why, because every man will just get an erection while they're pissing. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, sir, are you done? Not yet. No, not <laughs> quite. <laughs> you can imagine old men just doing that all day. Yeah. Just like senile old men, the kind of men that are like, they whistle at the nurses and bullshit like that, right? <laughs> yeah. Just imagine them. No, I'm not quite done yet, honey. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> like, all this bullshit. When the liquid comes out thick, you know I'm yeah. done. <laughs> yeah. Some absolute bullshit. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you think that. So you want to be it. You want to have the experience, though, I of want having a anymore. morphine drip. Not anymore. No, I'm good. I've only had morphine drip once, and it was exhilarating. <laughs> it was like it was like I have this much control. <laughs> you know, they just put it. It's a button, uh, it's, right? It's just it, a yeah, button. But it's a. Li- it's still limited. You can't just sit there. It is click, limited click, click, click. in that it's a button, so it only dispenses a certain amount, and then there's like a timeout. Right. Yeah. So you can't just go. Ha, 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 ha. Right? right. It's just right. you push the button once and but it's pretty. F- it's 
impressively fast. Like to me, like- you push it and it feels like the blood couldn't have even reached your brain yet. Like, right. I don't understand how it traveled so fast. <laughs> um, it doesn't make any, unless it's going like a hundred miles an hour, but you yeah. push the thing and it's like instantly like, Oh fuck. It's gone. The pain. Um, uh, yeah. I remember when my grandma was on hospice, um, they gave me this bottle of morphine for her. And, um, I asked the nurse, I was like, I felt like I was worried. I was like, man, morphine is some strong shit. Uh-huh. Um, I was like, I don't think she needs this. I was like, can she have, cause she was, she had like Percocet and Tramadol. So she would, she just had access to that. Her doctor had prescribed her for pain. Um, and I was like, should I give her that? And she was basically what this woman told me was that morphine doesn't live in your system very long at all. Um, it doesn't. So it like, goes by pretty yeah, so she's like Percocet, you know, you take that and you'll be fucked up for 12, 16 hours. She's like morphine three, four hours and it's gone. Um, so it's like, yeah, they only pain gave relief, it to me it for like a very small amount of time as well. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't realize that. I just thought it was a strong ass shit that fucks you up. I mean, it does. Don't well, get me yeah, wrong. Only a short, <laughs> it's, I guess it's, it's not a, a lasting. It doesn't yeah. have a long half life. The, um, the, a lot of the reason is because like I get nauseous as if I have, um, an opioid right after surgery so that I'm mixing the anesthesia with an opioid. I like uh-huh. throw up. I like, I can't. My body yeah, apparently rejects anesthesia that. really fucked me up. I don't have any memory um, of this, but they said I was awake for like forty minutes, just screaming about how f- sick I felt. Um, oh, really? I don't remember this Damn. at all. And they were like, "Yeah, if you ever get anesthesia again, make sure you let them know that uh, you get nauseous." Oh yeah, you had that experience recently. That's so funny. Yeah. Isn't, it? isn't it such a cool experience? No, I don't. What? And you know, the, the I think the worst thing you talk about pooping. Um, I think the worst thing from the gallbladder surgery was not being able to take a shit for like many days because i'm like a two times a day kind of guy most of the time and so like fucking i don't remember the last time i had been constipated before the gallbladder thing and it's like four days and i'm like if i don't shit soon i'm ready to die you had opioids right animals and something do what did you have opioids because they do that i don't know what they gave me um but i guess hydrocodone or something yeah yeah i think it was hydrocodone um it wasn't um, too strong they only gave me like mm, six of them like of course you get that's all that's (laughs) it We're not getting sued again. The, um, yeah. yeah. So they like put me on that just in initially just to get through the first few hours. And then they put me on the, Oh, okay. The hydrocodone. Yeah, I've never had to, morphine. So I don't know. I know when my dad was on morphine, um, when he had cancer, he was on it for a long time and he would take mm-hmm. that shit and be like laying in the fucking bed and being like, I can see through my eyelids to the outside. <laughs> <laughs> I remember him literally uh, laying there telling me he's watching the sunrise, and I'm like, your eyes are closed. He's like, I don't need to open them. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, I can see through them just fine. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's like where my fear uh, of morphine came from. I knew I think that was my first like introduction to morphine. I was like, yeah. last fucked you. up. <laughs> fuck you up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maybe I had the dosage wrong. Sounds man, like it. They probably were just giving him a lot. <laughs> Shove it in up. there. Yeah. Just shut the fuck <laughs> up. Give him enough that he can see through his eyelids and then he's good. Mm-hmm. Damn. So, damn, yeah. damn, damn. Uh, well, we should talk. Any talk that we're going to do on the pod we should about the marathon we should do now is to advertise it. It's a, it's okay. a, it's a, from when we're recording this, it's a month from tomorrow. But yeah. Yeah. November it'll be less than a month. To the 14th. Um, <clears throat> I'm really excited for the new format. Um, we have. It's six days. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's seven. Yep. I thought is. I had four fingers for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm on more feet. No. The shirt? There's a shirt. It's in the Minecraft Discord. The white one. Uh, oh, I, c- I keep checking. There's nothing happening in the other one that I thought everything was going to happen in. Oh, yeah, I see it. That was pretty cool. Whose hand is that? It looks like Armos to me. Why? So that's why you mentioned. That's what made you think of the shirt. The four fingers. Yeah. Yeah. How many people talked about that? No one has mentioned that. I. But I. It was the I first thing it. I noticed. Me too. But I think one finger's behind the controller. That's the idea. I get that. But like. <laughs> I mean, I think when I hold a controller, let me see. Yeah, you know, I guess you do. 
keep one hand, one finger back there. That's normal. So How are we right. selling this? Honestly, I don't fucking know. Like, I hate every t-shirt website. And I never want to do Why don't we just do it ourselves? Like, oh, Lord. We're going to screen print them while we're there. Um, That's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what I meant at all. Why don't um, we just have some in stock, pre-printed, and they get shipped out next day. And people can get them by the end of the marathon. They can be tweeting them to us, holding them in their hands. That's a lot of work. That's not going to happen. It's not a lot of work. The only reason I know that's because one of our products is that we do that for people. Yeah, but you'd have to pre-order them. So you have to have a a known quantity to pre-order. They run out. Um, So you just have a goal and they run out. Okay. It's also Um, sells way better when there's a, when there's like limited edition, just throwing that out there. Well, think about it. This seems like a place of debate coming up. Holy shit. I can see on Goode's face. It's just like, well, we're going to yell about this after the pod. <laughs> I mean, we're just not doing uh, that. That's just why, not a thing. I mean, it seems like a. It seems like a good idea. Like, how do you know, like how many fucking smalls, large, mediums, women? Oh, we know that because we have we have all the past date on every other past T-shirt. We can estimate we that. We can we estimate that. that. We don't have that data. Okay, we do. Okay, we'll talk about this. Mommy and daddy will talk about this after the podcast. Um, well, if we go with the company that prints on demand, it should never be designed by humans again. Their shirts suck ass. Why do um, they suck? I don't think. Do they really? They're awful. The worst shirts we've ever had printed was designed by humans. Uh, really? Teespring has fucked up in the past, but nothing like Teespring has terrible communication these days. Mm-hmm. But they're. Uh, their shirts are actually okay mm-hmm. um, for the most part. But what if we did do just like, what if we did set up a screen print shop? You can rent that shit. It would give us something to do. We have plenty to do. All right. We'll talk about that after as well. <laughs> um, that actually doesn't sound like a horrible idea though, right? We just have a camera always. And then we just put, Drew, how much you think we got? We just put Drew on. Uh, okay, you're gonna get the, this man to kill on, you on t-shirt duty. <laughs> it would be kind of cool though to print every t-shirt as it comes through, and then like sign it, or somebody signs it, writes on it, like you know, just something like that, and That's charge fifty, want. charge fifty bucks for it. Their fucking shirts designed on or written on. I think literally everybody would take that. Uh, A signature. I don't know. Sure. I think the quality would suck. This is not, we're not <clears> doing <throat> this, y'all. We're not doing this. It's just not a thing. It's not happening. Ah. Uh, so anyway, the, the, adver- <laughs> the advertisement, I'm laughing at your pain. I shouldn't be. The advertisement, <laughs> uh, twitch.tv slash Minecraft. Go ahead and get followed up now. And are we opening a server for yeah. this? Yeah. Is it open? Not yet. Uh, okay. The build team is still working on uh, cool. the world. But it will uh, open, and um, perhaps maybe by the two time... Weeks out. Okay, so may, by the time this podcast comes out, will there at least be like a link where people can donate on the Twitch page? I mean, they can Twitch already page, donate. On the Twitch page? Like our, so we know where to send people right now. Where can we send uh, people crack, to pre-donate? Minecrack.link slash el. Minecrack.link slash EL is the place right now. You can go ahead and pre-dono. And then I believe as soon as the server is up, we'll send you an email with how to get in and how to access it and all that kind That's of stuff. That's how it works, right, Matt? Before you're because you're the one that designed this tech. Yes. <laughs> so you can do it from a set time the donations came I don't in. Know about, well, yeah, yeah. Basically, we won't process any of the donations until the server's up, and then we'll just like batch. Just do them all. Okay. Yeah. Then yeah, yeah. If you want good, that that that's just a link to the extra life page. Minecraft.link slash el. Okay. Is there a link on twitch.tv slash Minecraft? We should probably put one there. Oh, Shit. There. Well, I think there's. Uh, I think that's Minecraft.link slash Twitch. Let's see. Okay. You really like Minecraft.link? Yeah, it's, it's not. That's not a real thing. Oh, it's probably okay. dot slash live. <clears throat> yeah, it is. Minecraft.link slash live is takes you to the Twitch page. Um, cool. Great. So that's how you can get in early. Yeah, there's get a button in there early. To there's a button. Does it take to the right page, though? 
Yeah, yeah, because we had the uh, event earlier this year. Remember? Oh, right, 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 right on. Cool, excellent. So, but uh, that's a Bitly link, and they should fix that. We're looking at four UHCs. Uh, yeah, I think so. Damn, we're yeah, looking at UHCs. we're looking at cooking. daily cooking daily every day. There'll be a cooking segment mm-hmm. every day. That's I fun. think uh, I think the mornings are going to start off kind of chill, where uh, we kind of go live in the kitchen. We make breakfast. We chit chat. Oh, that's what you mean by cooking stream. Well, Andy wants to do a thing every day too, uh-huh. um, where he like cooks lunch or something, something during the day, and he uh, and maybe it'll be during the breakfast time. I don't know. Um, he wants to he wants to do a segment every day where he one of us joins him and mm-hmm. they kind of we kind of chit chat talk. It's not like a instructional cooking segment. It's Is this a, like catering? We're Is he making thirty all, of them? Uh, yeah. We're going to have to make big batches of food and I'm going to figure out gluten. I'm going to assume vegan. that, well, is, am I the only one that's going to be there that has food intolerances? Unless you count Drew. I count Drew. Um, okay. I don't know if that's an intolerance. I think we can probably just handle ourselves then. That way you can make whatever you want. Yeah. Um, one, of, one thing I'm going to do uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to drop off the equipment the day before we can actually get in the house and just have it locked. You haven't been in the house, but there's a locked up area downstairs. I'm going to try to have mm-hmm. that the equipment there and locked up downstairs. And then I'm going to take whatever I'm driving that holds lots of things to Costco, which is two hours away. And I'm just going to fill it with snacks. Um, which of these designs is actually going to, is it the one with the text? I don't know. We haven't decided. This was just oh, yesterday okay. that it came out. I kind of like Brian's alteration. I hate <clears> to give <throat> that man any credit, but um, um, it's the same. No, he got rid of the logo. Yeah, and he put the logo on the controller and got rid of the text and put it on the controller. Oh, I see. I see. I, see. I think I think that That's might cool. be better. Might be better. Um, so okay. But yeah, uh, what else should we? What else should we talk? Should we talk about? The actual news? Which ones? Well, some things that we will cover in uh, premium. We still have a few minutes left on this one, but just to give, you know, maybe a $5 incentive to go to patreon.com slash Minecraft. Well, the um, Twitch hack was interesting, if you care about this. Is we've got Twitch. We've got Facebook. We've got the new shoes I'm wearing. Uh, which so is that's news. Which is, it, it, for me, it's news. It's big news. <sighs> um, <clears throat> I want to respond to some hate comments that I got about last oh. week's podcast. Well, maybe I'll do with, those. Maybe I'll oh, do those now. Was it, was it, uh, everyone says you're wrong about the washing of, uh, yeah, everyone's an idiot. Listen, here's the thing. All right. First of all, I didn't spoil fucking anything. Okay. I feel like you did. You definitely I feel spoiled. like I didn't. As someone who what are you talking about? Before? That's like, that's like watching. That's like watching Lord of the Rings for the first time and thinking that he doesn't save the world. Oh, it's a movie. Where things are gonna just end, <laughs> like that's not a thing. That's not a fucking thing. Sometimes that's name how one movie. Happen. Name one movie. Harry that's Potter. That's not like a horror end. movie. Name one movie. What did you just do? Name one movie where fucking you don't get a saved. Trailer on the Minecraft Twitch page, and it was Harry Potter dies at the end. What do you mean Harry Potter saves the world? Spoiler alert: He saves he the dies. world. Who cares? That no one cares about that. It saves the world. That's what it's all about. Him, uh, name one movie. Name one movie where the hero is not successful. Now I'm going besides Harry Potter too. Besides like a horror movie, right? Where in that case the hero is like Jigsaw. <laughs> is he the is he the hero? In that, in that case, he wins. Right? I guess. I don't think well, he's no, the no, hero. He doesn't even he win saw. I think he loses, actually. Yeah, <laughs> like, he's like it, so, so like, yeah, this doesn't exist. So me saying that the Avengers win isn't a spoiler. You no gave fucking more information shit. Than that. You gave I more didn't. Information than that. What you did I say? About Thanos, that I didn't know shit about Thanos. You were talking about specifics with him. You didn't know that the person existed. I knew he existed. I've seen his okay, stupid glove. That's it. So, um, so in order for them to win, it's, it's this is not a leap. <laughs> this is not a fucking leap. Holy shit. Also, you should watch it in 
not release order. You should watch it in cinematic order. And all these people that are saying watch it release order are just mad that they aren't at this point. Reason for yeah, they're just mad. They just say you're wrong, but I haven't seen anyone um, who has given a good reason why you're wrong. They're just mad. Other than just you're wrong. I mean, but what are they? They're, what are they defending? Why, why are they mad? They're mad because they watched it in order. They didn't be wait like me. Be wait. I haven't seen them all, and the best way to watch is definitely chronological. It's so good. Okay, for sure. Also, because I can't remember things, I'm basically rewatching what I have watched, and I don't remember what happened. So, dude, having early onset dementia is awesome for things have like you, this. Have you saw anyone about that? Have you talked to a doctor? I haven't, but I've considered it like a neurologist. Do you think it could be ADHD? I don't know what it like. I don't know if it's real. So I can't convince myself that it's real. And I think that's the biggest problem because well, you definitely have a memory unless you're just fucking trolling constantly. That's the you thing is lose. it feels like what it it feels like I'm trolling myself, which is why I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds fucking stupid. I don't know how to describe it. But like today I was struggling. I was like absolutely struggling, remembering a thing that was so massive. Like I was talking about, um, fuck the fifth element. Right. Uh And I just, for the life of me, couldn't remember, uh, I, I still Ruby's last name, Ruby rod. It was rod. I could not remember that. And, but the thing is now most people might not even be like, okay, who the fuck remembers that? I've watched that movie at least 50 times, like yeah. at least. And so I just sure. couldn't remember his last name. Is Ruby it's, the one, the, the reporter? It's Chris uh, Tucker. Yeah. Chris Tucker. Yeah. The report. He's a reporter in that. With the, with the yeah. woo, you know, yeah. that all that. Yeah. <laughs> who I was, it's great cosplay, by the way. I might just do that one day. Um, yeah, you should. Fantastic. I can't get hit. He's got such a unique style though of like how he screams. I can't emulate that. <laughs> oh yeah. No, that's they he did that character justice for sure. Perfectly. Yeah. He's such a good he's such a good uh over the top actor like that. Like in Rush Hour and all that shit. He's, yeah, he's yeah. hilarious. Anyway, um got to watch that again. Yeah, Good I moment. uh I've thought about it, but then I think I'm just stupid. Right. Like like I, the thing is if I go to the doctor and the doctor's like, yeah. So there's two solutions that I see in my head. The doctor comes and says, yeah, it's normal to forget shit. And I'm like, okay, is it normal for me to forget plot points from a movie I watched a week ago? And my thought is he's going to say yes. And that's fine. Cause if that's true, great. Or I'm just an idiot. And the last thing I want my doctor telling me is that I'm dumb. Right. So I, I know that part. I don't think it's that you're an idiot. I just, Obviously not. Um, I, I will. I mean, sometimes I wonder if you lied about getting a PhD, like your ramen diary, but. <laughs> oh my God. You fucking. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Jess has a memory problem. I'm saving She's that a little, little asterisk, by the way. Uh, yeah. I'm not yeah. commenting on it until the marathon. Okay. You're going to bring it? I'm not commenting. Have you been working on making a fake one for the last definitely six, not six months? <laughs> I'm sure this motherfucker. I can't I'll eat it. How would I ramen. do that? You can I just literally can't find eat it. places with ramen and just start fucking writing it down. Okay. You think I'm going to put that down. much work into this? You might just to fucking. There's no way. I put that years. much work into this shit. Are you kidding me right now? Um, Dude, look at how much but, work uh, I put into this podcast. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Jess has been going to the doctor about her memory issues, and they say that she might have ADHD um, that's been undiagnosed, and that's why I, she doesn't remember things because she can't focus on story. I them know away. I have ADHD. Oh, you do? Yes, but as like, a diagnosis, well, okay, I do like not have diagnosed. I do not have diagnosed ADHD, and the reason okay. for that is because my parents wouldn't let me because uh-huh. they didn't want me on Ritalin, like yeah. specifically, and I'm like, great, because I that. That literally my best friend in elementary school was like a person and then came in one day and was just not a human anymore. They were like a zombie. It was like, it's like I, it was just like, I literally just lost my best friend because they were just not who they were anymore. They were just somebody else. It was fucking weird. (laughs) Yeah. But they were, they were just, they didn't talk. 
they you know they didn't want to play anymore it was fucked yeah. up and i was like mom i didn't understand <laughs> why at the time but i think they made the connection of like oh well they just went on riddlin and this look at this fucking kid now it's just a zombie kid yeah um don't think they, they riddlin's not the number one diagnosed thing anymore is it or not diagnosed up i have no idea what, what yeah, i think they've moved past riddlin to other drugs do. adderall for, i don't know yeah, What's yeah, Adderall for? I mean, that sounds worse though um, Isn't that all for ADD? Is ADD so. different than ADHD? Yeah, because uh, the H is hyperactive. You can be attention. You can have attention deficit disorder without the hyperactive part. Hyperactive is like you're like fucking. Is that the extreme version or? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't know if there's a more extreme. It's just the, you have an additional symptom. You're also hyper oh. with your. You not only can you not pay attention, but you're fucking. You're using that energy to be hyper. Basically. I just think it's, I don't, I don't know. Cause like I lose attention very easily, but I also think it's because I have four, four fucking thousand things going on at once and yeah. everything's grabbing my attention. So like, right. But that, I think that's also a symptom of ADD is putting yourself in a situation where you have all these things going on because you can't, I love it. You get bored easily. Oh, I, hell yeah, with, I do. Dude. I so watched yeah. squid game last night. I literally, I would literally rather shove a cactus in my ass it was so bad really do you ever watch like do you watch squid game yeah i watched it i like fuck it. that show dude first off the acting oh boy here we go well, the acting did you and the dub? vo the voiceover is horrible yeah um did you watch it dubbed yeah so the voice yeah, acting like was the terrible acting's probably fine um especially some of the more emotional scenes i think that was really well done I think the main, the lead actor was awful and the rest were fine. He, oh, I thought the one that was, was really fucking awful. awful was that the woman that was like into the old man or not like the old, old man, but the, she called him old man. Um, oh, I don't think we're there yet. Uh, but like, oh, we only saw the first two, two episodes. Oh, okay. Well, you've seen this woman, but you don't know who I'm talking about yet. Um, Is it the, uh, the mom? No, no, no. Oh, okay. She's one of the contestants. Um, and oh, she's okay, like okay, okay. Loud and over the top. And her voice actor is the worst for the dubbed. Um, and yeah, her acting is just over the top. But Damn. Um, yeah, but I, I, the I thought there I was it. too much blood for what it was. It's just like, do you really need to like have zoomed in pictures of hearts exploding? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's um, supposed to be graphic. Also, I mean, I guess the biggest the biggest point for me is that they should be 15 minute long episodes, not one hour. It's oh too slow. God. It's so slow. It's beyond slow. And every you scene is just kind of dragged of out. Every scene, if they just cut the last five minutes off, perfect. I'm in. Like, it's fine. Because I, I am super into the premise. Like, this is my kind of show. Like, the premise of it oh bitch i get a rock hard on thinking about this kind of like this is so fucking cool right it's so fucking cool you take a bunch of people they're down on their money they've got all these issues with money and all this shit and you give them a chance to either fucking make money or die like the, the whole fucking premise and i haven't even got to the point where it's like who's this guy controlling everything and what's the secret organization like all that shit is awesome but God, it takes so long to get anywhere. It's so fucking long. Just like the Willy Wonka scene in episode one. This isn't spoiling anything. The Willy Wonka scene. Look, you know what I mean? Where they're just walking on all these fucking stairs. That bitch is like three minutes of walking on stairs. Like cut that to five seconds. Literally five seconds. And we're done. No, I think that that stuff Fuck is done that. that way on purpose. Like it's an artistic statement. I hate art. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I think it's setting the scene. It's like setting the mindset. Like, there's so much going on there that I think you're missing. I hate art. I really fucking hate art. It's just uh -huh. like I'm back in art history class when I'm when my teacher's like, how do you interpret this painting? And I'm like, oh, well, I see, um, you know, I, oh, I see this is like a coming of age tale for a dude. You know, he's, he's doing whatever. And she's like, no, it's about a vagina. And I'm like. It's what I, th you, fuck you. Don't tell me how to interpret this shit. Fail me. Yeah. I, art sucks. Uh -huh. Art is the worst. So anyway, 
Yeah, the three minute long. Couldn't you have got that same emotion if it was just five seconds? Like, no. seriously, all this shit. It's like too long. The police scene when he's talking to the cop, that thing is drawn out so fucking. It's like they're trying just to make it an hour. Like, oh, we promised an hour. We guess we got to make it an hour. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't really think so. frustrating. Yeah. But I Maybe love the premise. Oh, I'm going to watch it for sure. Just because I want to like the premise is good. Like, I thought a, it was a good show. I enjoyed it's a it. Really, there will be a season two. So. Really good premise. Um, yeah. How could there be a season two? You'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it's the same. Like, I just love the premise. The premise is super cool. I think season two is going to be different. But Damn. Similar. Um, but you'll see. It doesn't seem to me like it was. A, it's a show that should have taken over the world. But I guess it did. Maybe because nothing Netflix else is Netflix is good at doing but. that. Netflix can push is things. Is marketing? People. Yeah. No, they're, they literally, I, I, I am convinced when Netflix says, number one watch show in the, U, in the U.S. or the world today or whatever, that shit just came out. It ain't the number one watch show. They're just saying that to get you to watch it. Like, I think that's how Netflix works. They just push Might something be. to you. And the number one, one show. Watches it. We used up all of our bandwidth. Uh, like, I'm watching, uh, I, after I finished Squid Game, the other fucking show that netflix is pushing is um, midnight mass i've been watching that and that's pretty good so far but it's not not as good do as you, the game was you like me. most things though that you watch no i think you what like you the art I'm, of... I'm incapable of <laughs> disliking something? no i think you you have a higher like tolerance than yeah. i do maybe i don't know maybe you appreciate things more than i do <laughs> you just hate everything um, no, I just like, again, I love the story. The story is super fucking good. Like the premise. But I just don't need all the fucking boring time. I feel like I've seen more complaints about Squid Game than I have seen people that are just like, this is the best thing ever. Really? I, gosh, I've seen the opposite. Yeah. I'll, Dang. I, I, uh, don't die. Jesus. Fuck. Um, yeah, on Twitter, um, a lot of people, I really don't like the ending. Um, but even mm. like, uh, I talked about it on stream and a lot of my chat was like, didn't like it. So, I mean, I guess I like parts of it. I just don't like how it was shot, I guess. I don't yeah. know how, shot, how it was edited. If they honestly though, not 15 minutes, but it could be a, th if it was 30 minute episodes where they covered all that stuff in 30 minutes, I'd actually probably really, really be into it. I'm pretty impressed. I haven't seen, <clears> I mean, I don't know what all comes out of Korea. Right. But this was all, you know written, produced, shot, etc. in South Korea. Um, so that part's interesting to me too. Like Yeah. Very cool. What else are they making? Um, you know. Not much. They might be. We don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't we know. We wouldn't know. Like unless like Netflix know. picks it up and puts it in our face. This show is first pitched in like 2008. And really? then Netflix picked it up in 2019 to produce it. Yeah. It was a long time. The So was um, it produced? Was it so Netflix a lot of times will buy things once they've already been shot, made. No, this was everything. a story I think that they bought in 2019 or okay. they produced in 2019. I see. The, um, um, I like, I guess there are also parts of it that are very, like I wanted to, I don't know why this was my, all I was thinking about at tour after the first episode, uh, like the end of the first episode, I couldn't really concentrate on the episode because my mind was so focused on counting the number of gunshots and seeing if it matched up <laughs> with the number. Yeah. I don't know why my brain hyper focused on that, on that. Um, I think it's just because well, it felt wrong to me. Well, also the number of shots would have been different than the number of people that died. Cause some people yeah, cause some were one or some are twice. Yeah. Yeah. It so, just, it felt weird. So what'd you come out of that with? Was there more I, I didn't rewind it. I just, I hyper focused on it, which is possibly why I didn't enjoy as much of the end of the first episode kind of thing. Like, yeah. like that could have been a reason why, because I was just so hyper focused on that. I couldn't get it out of my head. Do you have predictions on how the show goes based on the first two episodes? Uh, yes. What do you think? What do you think? Is this, well, it's not a spoiler because I don't know. Because you don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's not a sport, uh, old man know. dies for sure. The lovable character always fucking gets yoinked, right? So he's how, dead. How, when is he gonna die? Like how far in? Like halfway through, he's dead. Uh -huh. yeah. He's just yeah. He's gonna be fucking rip. 
Um, th- there's like, like I, I actually thought about this while I was watching the first episode. I'm like, well, he's dead. Like he's there's no chance <laughs> that that guy makes it to the end of this series. He's fucking goner. I love how happy he is. When he he's had, playing, he's so lovable, right? He's, he's like, so he's just the biggest fucking grin on his face while he's yeah. out there, maybe about to get shot. Yeah, yeah he's good. happy, and that's why he's <laughs> about to get fucking wrecked. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's somebody that you're gonna emotionally connect with, and then they're gonna be like deuces. Yeah. Um. Obviously, our the the main character survives the whole thing, and they un the police officer helps uncover some weird plot of some twisted fucked up thing. And then who knows? Uh-huh. I mean, that's where I think it's going, but okay. Yeah. Just curious. Yeah. Oh, oh, also the brother or whoever that is also gets <laughs> fucked up somewhere. He's not the, he's not related. He's not a brother. He's just from oh, the okay. same town. He's the guy that went off to college. And yeah. That guy, the prodigal, son that guy, of the town. that guy is going to be end up, being like this nice philanthropist or whatever. And he's probably going to end up dying for this, the main character. Like he's just like that. Cause he's feels awful about all the shit he did. Now he's trying to pay it all back or whatever the fuck. And he's going to just give himself up so that the other guy can survive. Also the Indian guy also dead. Indian guy. Yeah. He's, he's from India. He was speaking oh, in. Oh, oh, oh yeah, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is yeah. Urdu spoken in india isn't that where it's spoken where's urdu spoken or maybe it's pakistan where's urdu spoken yeah, he's he's pakistani pakistan okay yeah. um oh shit i fucked that up there there they they like hate each other don't they <laughs> i don't know I think, I think india pakistan they have like border issues over there um okay. yeah so that guy's also fucking roasted and toasted yeah i think you're That's gonna where enjoy at. where it all goes surprisingly i did not read this one um so often i will read what happens yeah don't do that don't like the episode oh well i'll read i'll I'll, I'll, like i read an episode before and so i'll read an episode and then watch that episode Uh um because i think it allows i don't know what it is but it allows me to focus better on what's happening this is this is an anxiety related issue yeah i think it is (laughs) yeah i think i think it is no like there's like literally this is talked about when it talks about uh people with anxiety and this is the thing that people with anxiety do wait are you serious yeah i've only been doing it for like a couple years but like it it definitely like it's it makes it so much more enjoyable to watch television and movies so much better you don't get anxious yeah i guess so yeah i think it's fuck are you my therapist now (laughs) what the (laughs) fuck (laughs) jesus uh, uh, no, it really makes the watching experience so much better, which I is actually, I'm that, not even kidding. I thought about like, I think we might watch the next episode tonight. I was thinking yeah. about like reading it beforehand so that I would Don't, enjoy it more. Not fucking, but I think Jesus. I enjoy it more knowing what's about to go yeah. on. That just, I don't, I don't understand that, but okay. If you got to do it, okay. just don't read the whole show ahead. I never do that. No, I only read one episode ahead. Um, yeah. Although if it's a movie, I'll just read the whole fucking thing. <laughs> stupid. It's not stupid. It also it, it also helps me way. remember. Like it's a big thing that also I've learned helps me remember like what happens during the movie. Uh huh. So. Hmm. Wild. Well, we're done here. We are Got definitely done here. <laughs> um, right. well, Patreon.com yeah. slash Minecraft. Join us. Give us money for the marathon. We need it. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, bye.